Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So today I'm going to show you 350 Taric, which is a front end for the RG350 devices. Much like Simple Menu, it changes the interface itself on your device. Now this is really easy to install. You basically just take the OPK and put it in your Media Data Apps folder, and that's it, and you just uh, boot it up. And this has a lot of features uh, that are very kind of similar to the original interface, but more customizable. So a favorites menu, uh, and then the ability to change other things about it as well, including skins. So let's start with the basics first. So when you want to actually start up a game, then you would tab over to the emulators tab, and then you would pick the emulator you want to run. So for example, if we wanted to play a Nintendo game, then we would pick up the NES one, and you would go into your NES folder and pull up your ROMs. And you can see here that you actually are able to add album art to it. And if you click the description in the link below, uh, you will see uh, the guide on how to do all of this. So including how to add box art and everything else. It's very easy, it's just about as simple as the simple menu one. Uh, but another thing you can do with this is you can actually change the titles of any of your emulators. So you go in there, you hit select, and then you say edit title. And so for example, on this emulator in particular, I use it for the Famicom disk system. So here I can just write Famicom DS, and then that'll remind me which one is which. So let's pull up a game first. Uh, we'll go in and we'll pick up the Pico Drive, which is a Genesis emulator, and let's go into the Sega Genesis section. And this one I haven't set up the box art yet, so you don't see the box art on this one. Uh, but you just basically would navigate to the game itself. You can hit up and down to go kind of quickly, or you can hit left and right to go even more quickly, and that kind of pages through each of the different pages. And you just hit A, and it starts right up. So you can see here I'm playing uh, Aladdin for the Sega Genesis, one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. Uh, I never really understood how it is that he can have a sword, which he never really had in the, the movie itself, but he could make enemies explode, and it was kind of funny. Uh, if you like a game, you can actually hit the X button and make it a favorite. So you go into your favorite menu, and initially it'll show up not in alphabetical order, but the next time you start it up, it'll show up. And you can launch your games right there from the favorites menu, so you don't ha even have to go into the emulator or pick your game. As long as you just have your favorites set up, you can just jump right into them. So you can see here, I just jumped right into Contra. So if you really like what you're seeing, you can actually hit the Install Me button, which is in the settings, and that'll make it so that when you launch the actual device itself, it'll go into this menu as opposed to uh, the regular menu. And you can, and there's another one that says Uninstall, so you can change it that way. So let me show you some of the skins that are available. So you basically go into Settings, and then you can change the skins. And these are kind of neat. You know, it allows you to have different icons and, and backgrounds and stuff. Now, one thing is that some of these are from older systems, and they don't work perfectly. So for example, with this one, you can see I went into a menu and then went out, and the text disappeared. And that's just a weird thing that happens in some of these. Another thing you can do is actually uh, organize everything by columns. So instead of just having a line that you kind of go through of all these different uh, rows, you can actually make these uh, four columns here. And so you can kind of navigate it a little bit more uh, like icons, like on a phone, as opposed to just going up and down. And then you can also change the background. So if you go into the skin settings, you can go and click on the background a wallpaper, and that'll actually allow you to change all these. And a lot of them have like built, like all of these here were pre-installed on the skin itself. So uh, I have the links to all of these skins in my guide, which is linked below. So you just go in there and can check it out. So even though I like a lot of these backgrounds, unfortunately, uh, this does not upgrade to the higher resolution of the RG350M. So you don't get that nice 640 by 480. You're stuck with that 320 by 240 resolution, which isn't the end of the world, uh, but it's just something to consider is that you're not going to have that high resolution that you can get in the other front ends. So here's another skin here. I don't really like this one because the text doesn't show up. So let's move on and try a different one. So this is the minimal one. The minimal one actually comes with Esoteric when you install it. Uh, this one, the default and the minimal both come with it. And this one's nice. It has that kind of icon layout, uh, a little bit sharper and clearer than the other one I was looking at before. And then there's this one called Old Boy, and it looks a little bit like a Game Boy, which is kind of neat. Uh, I like some of these icons, but unfortunately this also has that text issue. There's several of them that have that, and I'll make a note of it in my guide below. This one is called the PS4, and uh, you, as you imagine, it's, it's obviously modeled after the PS4, but again, it also has that text issue. So here's one called PS Next. There's a light version and a dark version. I kind of like the dark one better, but, you know, whatever works for you.
And here is the Zelda one. And this one's kind of neat, you know, very pixely looking, um, but still kind of fun. Unfortunately, uh, you'll see here, you can go into the settings and adjust the, if you go into the skin settings, you can adjust the, the font size and, and, and all those kind of things, different colors and whatnot. But this has the same problem. You go into a menu and you go out of it and the text disappears. But changing the font is easy for any of these skins. You just go into the skin settings and then you just adjust the numbers until you tweak it till, till it works for you. And back to the default one. So let me show you one other skin. I really like this one here, and this is my favorite, and this is the default one I actually use. And this one is neat because it's, you know, it has a lot of pixel uh, kind of retro feel to it, but on top of that, the text is very clear on this one, and I, I really like that. It looks nice and sharp on my 350M as well, um, and I like that. And so, you know, you just use it like you would any other one. I, I have the menu on the right side, um, but you know, you can do whatever you want, but you can pull up these folders, and you can see it shows the uh, box art just like any others. And I don't know, I really like it. So, you know, the favorites work with this as well. So you can just jump into a game. And I really like this aspect of it. So, for example, uh, my wife, who is, is kind of interested in these devices, but she doesn't like the fact that there's so much tinkering that happens, right? She just wants one that she turns on and gets into Dr. Mario. And so you could actually set this up to boot directly into Esoteric and then have it set on the favorites bar. And so that person would just be able to boot right into their favorites every time. So let's pull up one more game just to test it out. So here's Tecmo Super Bowl. Um, yeah, one of my favorite games of all time. I'm just going to make it, you know, an even match. So I'll do San Francisco 49ers versus the Browns, which is obviously a joke because 49ers are so OP in this game. But really, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Be sure to check out that guide below because I went way more into depth in the, in the written guide. But I just really wanted to show off how this works. And I'm going to leave you with the best play in this game, which is hitting right and B when you're the 49ers. You pull up Joe Montana, and then you just toggle over to Jerry Rice, who's on the bottom right there. And then you wait as long as you can. You throw the ball, and he always catches it. And it's always great, and you get your seven points right then and there. Anyway, that's it. So uh, leave a comment if you have any questions uh, below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy gaming.